I pray for Harmony Square because it's the heart of Brantford. I just pray for success for all the events, that nothing goes wrong, there's lots of turnout, especially from people from different neighborhoods and areas. Um, I usually pray thinking about the individuals in the homes. And I pray that God will uh, fulfill um, how what they best need in, in their lives. Uh, sometimes I know what those needs are, and I pray for that specifically. And sometimes I uh, I just sort of pray that God knows. Uh, as we've been praying for the street, we've de developed a really uh, neat relationship for the uh, neighbor right beside us, and entered into dialogue, talked a lot of different things, and one day we had a snowstorm, so as I was praying, I went ahead and shoveled his uh, sidewalk and his driveway and cleared it all out for him, and, which he was very appreciative of. But the uh, uh, result of that is, I don't get to do my own driveway anymore. He's out there before I can even get it done. Um, we pray for peace for our street, health for our neighbors, um, jobs, those who don't have jobs, we pray that for employment. And we pray for health, uh, health for our neighbors. I see mainly residential. There are two businesses there. Uh, one is a drinking establishment, so I still play blessing, pray blessing over that too. <laughs> I pray for my neighbors that I would be able to invite them over for dinner, have conversations with them, and I pray that uh, whatever's happening in their lives that I don't know about, that God would be there in some supernatural way. Uh, I noticed um, three people being in the, around the storm sewers, and in the past I've only noticed one person doing it, and now this time there's three people doing it before the before the rainstorm is supposed to come. So I, I was quite pleased about that, and I feel like uh, God has answered some of the prayers. I pray for Rodden Street. Uh, my reason for Rodden Street is I'm the pastor of Rodden Street Baptist Church, and then I also pray for King George School, which is directly across the road from the church. Many times people will come and lay hands on the map and just pray for the city of Brantford. When we gather in a circle, we're praying for the streets of Brantford. My name is Becca, and I pray for Harmony Square. When I pray, I pray for community. I'm Crystal, and I live on Campbell Street. And when I pray for Campbell Street, I'm going to pray for peace and protection. I'm Bill Reed, and I'm praying for Chatham Street. And I was praying mostly for safety. When I pray for my street, I pray for God to be present peace. I pray for Why Not You Centers. Hi, my name is Ralph and I pray for Marriott Place in Paris and what I pray for is salvation. My name is Pastor Charles Reed and I pray for Crandall Avenue and I pray for the kids on the street. My name is Adam and I live on Brooklyn Ave and when I pray, I pray for relationships to be built. I'm Linda, I pray for Palmerston Ave and I pray for Harmony. My name is Melody, and when I pray for the city of Brantford, I pray for the youth of this city. Hi, I'm Eric Chris Friel. I know that this is about praying for a street, but I pray for the entire city. When I have some extra time, I like to pray for the street that I live on, and I always pray both for the city and the street in which I live for strength, wisdom, and courage. I think that applies to everybody. So get out and pray for your street. I'm Brian Beatty, chairman of One Church, Together for the City. You know, you've already adopted half of the streets in our city, which is fantastic. Here's what I want you to do today. If you've adopted your street, keep praying. If you haven't, I want you to go to transformworld.org and sign up today.